So as Alberto showed, there is this Git indication which allows you to connect a GitHub branch to to a Hasura Cloud project, and then metadata migration from that branch uh, can be automatically deployed to 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 a Hasura Cloud project, right? Uh, after we launched this feature, it was like very well ado adopted by our customers and uh, by by a lot of users, and and one more feature request that we we uh, kept get, getting was folks want previews of their branches previews of the metadata and migration in their branches so uh, we have built out something cool something very cool and it is slightly diy right now and we are working towards a more native experience uh, but this is pretty cool too so if you go to the git deployment section uh, of your hasura cloud project and click here uh, that will take you to a yaml generator where you can you know write your uh, repo name something so this will this will what this does is this just helps you build up a workflow that you can add to your github uh, ci and whenever then on whenever there is a there is a pull request you can uh, you can have preview instances for your for your collaborators to review review the metadata migrations um, effortlessly more efficiently right uh, so yeah you you could just uh, have your uh, repo name here demo and the path to the Hasura directory that is the direct the, the path to the metadata and, uh, migrations within your repo uh, the region that you want the preview projects to be deployed in you could choose any of the uh, regions that are supported on Hasura cloud also the environment variables that you want to expose to the to the to, to, to the created preview instances something like auth hook uh, could be something auth.com and so write something uh, or Graph your JWT secret. Yeah, you can you can add a secret here. I'm not gonna add because I don't have a secret right now. Uh, and then uh, you can have a comment, which uh, which will get commented automatically once the preview app deployment goes through. Uh, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and we also have. Uh, a, a nifty tool called ephemeral, ephemeral databases that comes along with this workflow. Uh, what you can do is you can set up a, a Postgres server to this workflow. Uh, you can set up the database URL of, of a Postgres server in your GitHub secrets and have a reference to that secret and um, it, it, pass, the, pass the reference to that GitHub secret to this workflow. That is something like this. Uh, it, Data, beta, database URL, and then the, the then environment variables that are referenced by your metadata um, in your data sources, like something like PG database URL, something like that. Right. And then you can just generate the YAML. This YAML gets generated. Uh, you can just take this and copy it. Your workflows go to like wherever. Your repo is, you can create a workflow. I already have one here. So uh, just if you see it's just a similar kind of YAML that I'm using with my personal configuration, right? And then on once once that is created, uh, if you have pull request with metadata and uh, with, with changes and migrations, you have just added a very insignificant change, uh, just changing name of the relationship from author to article author. Uh, if if a pull request gets opened, uh, a job will run, which which will deploy the metadata and migrations, and eventually comment comment the link to the console and link to the to the GraphQL endpoint. But I uh, yeah, uh, the, this is uh, by the way just not for pull request. You can also use this for uh, for previews of any sort of branches. Like uh, if you have a release branch and if you want to have a pre-release branch to have preview of what's going to go into a release you can use the system for that as well uh the the api apis are documented in our in our docs and you can totally check that out <laughs>